Hi folks and welcome to week four of the LGBT ecotherapy course. I was just on a walk with my little dog Yoro here. Do you want to say hi Yoro? I think you've said hi before, yes? Hi Yoro. And I had to stop because I came across this house and rumour has it that some very evil goblins live inside this house. As you can see, Yoru's looking very worried and concerned about these goblins, aren't you love, eh? I thought it was really important to share this moment with you because it ties in quite nicely with the theme for this week, which is myths and stories and fairy tales and nature. So I want you to go for your task this week on a walk, and as you're walking, I want you to think about myths, especially from childhood and fairy tales, um, classic stories that might have inspired you as a child and, you know, made you invent little games when you were out. Which ones inspired you? Was it classic things like Greek myths or was it maybe things like The Wizard of Oz or classic kids stories like Enid Blyton? They all contain really incredible archetypes that speak to us and very often about nature. So I want you to go on a walk and bring to mind which ones really had an impact on you and might impact how you see nature personally. And then on your, the second part of your walk, you can do it all as one walk, I want you to make up a story inspired by the nature that you see around you. Even if you're in the city, little bits of nature that you see. And um, I am going to give some instructions for um, if you're shielding in a sec as well. But just get inspired. You can make the character uh, a, a queer character if you like. How might a, a queer character navigate the, the nature that you see? What might be happening? Could, might this tree actually talk when I've got my back turned to it? Let your imagination go. Have fun and invite a childlike playfulness into your walk. Now you don't have to write your story down, you don't have to show anything to anybody, you don't have to post your story in the forum or anything like that. Just have fun creating it for the sake of creating it. If you want to do more with it, you know, feel free to create something, you know, whether it's some kind of uh, painting, you could write a song, you could write a story, a poem about your little story that you found in nature, feel free, that would be amazing. And of course, anything you want to share would be gratefully received. It would be lovely, but it's not expected. This is about the process of creating. It's not about um, showing things to each other that we're not comfortable showing. It's not about producing something for the sake of the end result. Because I think sometimes that can ruin the fun of creativity. So that's what we're doing. I mean, I'm coming up to the Trolls Bridge now, and I'm not going to give you a second task this week. That's your, that's your task. But I am going to invite you to look up to the sky for the full moon this week, because it's going to be beautiful near the end of the week, and we might have some clear skies as well. I'm a bit frightened of crossing this Trolls Bridge. Even Yoro seems a bit dubious about it. If you're shielding with your task this week, please, um, you can still do this from home. You might want to research online about your favourite uh, stories from childhood and create something from it. You know, this is one that's perfectly doable from home. So do, do it in your own creative way. That would be amazing. Um, yeah. If you have any other exercises that you've enjoyed so far in the course, any grounding exercises, feel free to do them as well. But that, that's what I'm setting you this week. So um, next week is the final week. We're basically nearly finished, folks, because next week all we're going to be doing is uh, a, a quick kind of end task to wrap everything up. So this is your last big task for the whole course. So I want to say thank you very much for sticking with us so far and I'm looking forward to seeing what you... Um, oh God, here's the witch's house again. I'm going to turn away. I said it was a witch's house. It's a goblin's house. The goblin will be really offended. Um, okay, so I'm going to wrap it up there. Really looking forward to seeing what you... Um, what, what you come up with, um, how you found the task. So if you can just post how you experienced it, that would be lovely. And um, yeah, I'll see you next week for the final tiny wee little closing task. Thanks a lot. Bye bye. Have a lovely week.